Hi, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Vijay Kumar, and in this uh, session, so I will be discussing about roll up and cube. What is roll up and what is cube, and what is the difference between these two? And both these two roll up and cube are mainly used for calculating subtotals and grand total. Both, both roll up and cube are mainly used for calculating subtotals and grand total. Let us see practically. So, first I will execute one query without uh, roll up, next I will execute the query with roll up and you see the difference. So, for example, in this query what I am calculating is department wise total salary, the total salary paid to each department. So, how much is spent to 10, how much is spent to 20, how much is spent to 30. So, this query calculates department wise total salary. Let us see this, I will execute this query practically then and see this output. So, this is just calculating what the total salary paid to each department, okay. how much is paid to 10, how much is paid to 20, 30th, 40th. So, but what user is asking is? A user is asking grand total, okay. User one subtotals and grand total. So for for calculating grand total and subtotals, then use roll up and cube. Now, so I'll just apply this roll up. Then, but how you apply the roll up? The roll up and cube is applied on group by columns. You apply the roll up and cube on group by columns. So what is the group by column in our example? department number is group by column, I will apply the roll up on group by column and let us see the difference. So, I am running the query with roll up. So, let me execute this query. So, same query, but here I am applying this roll up. So, the roll up is applied on group by column, what is the group by column is department number. I will execute this one and see the output next. So, what is the difference between without roll up and with roll up? So, without roll up it is not displayed this grand total, now with roll up it is displaying the grand total. So, what is this 32,225 represents, what is this value represents? This value represents the total salary paid to all the departments. So, what is this is called? This is called grand total, the total salary paid to all the departments then. Now, same thing, so we will apply a cube and see the difference. So, instead of roll up I use cube and see the difference. I will execute the same query with roll up. So, I here in this example I am using cube. In the first example I use it roll up then it is showing the grand total. In the second example, so I am using roll up and so I am using cube in the second example. See this, it is also showing the same thing 32,225 and what is this value represents? This value represents grand total. So, here there is no difference between roll up and cube, okay. Both are giving the same output, okay. Now, then, then, so what is the difference then? So, because both roll up and cube giving the same output, then what is the difference? The difference comes when you apply this roll up and cube on two columns, but in this example grouping is based on only department number, I applied this roll up on department number and cube is also applied on department number. So, if you apply this on a single column, so you do not find any difference, but I will apply this roll up and cube on two columns, then you will find the difference, okay. So, let us see one example here, in the previous example, so I am calculating department wise total salary. I want to calculate department wise job wise total salary. First I will execute the query without this two roll up and cube and after that I will execute the query with roll up and cube then you will come to know the difference. So, department number comma job. So, grouping is based on both department number comma job. Then what happens is first grouping is based on department number and within the department grouping is based on job. Now, let us execute this one 
we are ordered by 1 comma 2 1 means first column 2 means second column so in the select list what the first column is department member what the second column is job now let's run this query now see the output here see this so what is this 5000 represents this 5000 represents the total salary paid to president in 10th department and what is this 6000 represents and the 6000 represents the total salary paid to analyst in 20th and what is 2975 represents the total salary paid to managers in 20th and 5600 the total salary paid to salesman in 30th so what it is calculating is it is calculating department wise and within the department job wise total salary okay so in this in this example i'll apply the roll up and see the difference so but what user is asking is user wanted to see the subtotals and grand total for example after completing 10th department he wanted to show the subtotal what the total salary paid to 10th department for example that is 7450 after completing 20th i wanted to show the subtotal what the total salary paid to 20th total salary paid to 30th so finally i wanted to show the grand total so now i use roll up let's see the difference now i am executing the same query with roll up okay then <coughs> now see the difference so i executed the query with roll up then how to apply the roll up now the roll up is applied on these two columns I am applying the roll up, roll up on both department member and job. In the previous example, the roll up is applied only on department member. Now I am applying the roll up on both department member, comma job. Now let us see the difference. So execute the query and see the difference. So what is this 7450? This is subtotal, the total salary paid to 10th department. What is 14,075 subtotal, the total salary paid to 20th. 9400 total salary paid to 30th finally it is showing 32225 what is this 32225 that is total salary paid to all the employees so what is this is called grand total that means what is this 7450 department subtotal this is department subtotal this is also department subtotal and what is this 32225 what is this is this is grand total okay that. So, what roll up is calculating is a roll up is calculating department wise subtotals and also grand total. So, how you define roll up is roll up calculates subtotals for each group and also calculates grand total. Okay. Roll up calculates subtotals for each group and also calculates grand total. Now, let us run the query with cube and see the difference. I will execute the same query but in that query I use cube instead of roll up I use cube and see the difference between roll up and cube see the difference here so in this query in this example I use it cube not roll up then so what it is giving is this is also giving the same thing so what is 7450 the total salary paid to 10th department 14,075 total salary paid to 20th and uh, 9,400 the total salary paid to 30th and what is this 6000 is the total salary paid to analysts, total salary paid to clerks, total salary paid to managers and finally it is showing the grand total 32,225. Then what is the difference between roll up and cube? The previous one roll up is calculated subtotals only department wise but what cube is calculating? It is calculating subtotals department wise and also job wise. The difference is so roll up is calculating subtotals only department wise but cube is calculating subtotals department wise and also job wise so here how you define this uh, roll up is roll up calculates subtotals for each group and also calculates grand total but cube calculates subtotals for each group by column here what are the group by columns one group by column is department member one group by column is job so it calculating subtotals department wise and also job wise but roll up calculates subtotals only department wise that means it calculates subtotals for each group so this is the difference between roll up and cube okay then so uh, the best example to like uh, understand suppose for example i want to calculate 
state wise total population for example if you take india so i want to calculate the state wise total population and within the state i want to calculate the gender wise total population for example the total population in up then so total male population in up and total female population in up so this is the difference between a roll up and cube mainly used for calculating subtotals and also grand total then but again the question is in in the output you are showing 7450 okay you are showing 7450 you are showing 14075 and you are showing 6000 you are showing 32225 fine but thing is end user will see this output so he may not understand what is this values represents if end user see this output so he may not understand what is this values represents what is 7450 what is 14075 what is the subtotals 9400 so he may not understand what is this values represents because so we are the developers like we know so what is this values represents because we have written the query but the end user is not technical end user is purely functional so he may not be knowing so what is this values represents then so in this output better to display 7450 is department subtotal 14075 is job subtotal sorry department subtotal and 6000 is job subtotal and 7350 is clerk subtotal and 8275 manager subtotal in this output better to display the subtotal is department subtotal job subtotal and also finally uh, 32225 is grand total so if you if you show that then end users will easily understand what are these values represents that so what i want is i want to know the subtotal belongs to which group that means whether it subtotal belongs to department or the subtotal belongs to job or it is a grand total so for that prakil is given a function what that function is the function is grouping id function okay the function is grouping id function and what is this grouping id function is this grouping id function accepts group by columns and returns the subtotal belongs to which group by column for example in our example what is the group by columns one group by column is department member one is job suppose to this grouping id function i'll pass the group by columns one is department member one is job then so what is this returns is this returns 1 2 3 so grouping id function so accepts group by columns in our example what are the group by columns one is department member next one job and returns what 1 2 3 what does it mean one means the subtotal belongs to first group by column that is department member two means the subtotal belongs to second group by column that is job and three means the subtotal belongs to so sorry that is grand total one means subtotal belongs to first group by column that is department member two means subtotal belongs to second group by column that is job and three means it's a grand total okay then so i want to use this grouping id then plus here when you use grouping id it returns values 1 2 3 1 okay, returns values 1 2 3 1 then now let's apply this so grouping id in brackets group by columns what are the group by columns one is department member another one job so i'm executing the query now see the output see that now what it is showing is this 7450 is department subtotal it is showing one 14075 department subtotal it is showing one and here 6000 this is job subtotal showing two and uh, 7350 is job subtotal showing 2 subtotal belongs to first group by column grouping id returns 1 if the subtotal belongs to second group by column then returns 2 if it is a grand total returns 3 see 33225 32225 is a grand total so returns 3 okay then so this grouping id returns 1 2 3 like this so if the subtotal belongs to first then returns 1 if the 
subtotal belongs to second group by column returns 2, if the subtotal is grand total then returns 3. Then, but here also instead of showing 1, 2, 3, I wanted to show department subtotal, job subtotal, grand total. So, if grouping ID return value equal to 1 then show department subtotal, if grouping ID return value equals to 2 then show job subtotal, if grouping ID return value equals to 3 then show grand total. Then, so, I use a case statement to show like this I use a case statement case if the grouping ID return value equals to 1, how you write this when 1 then department subtotal next when 2 then job subtotal when 3 then grand total next next one every case statement should end with end. So, I am declaring alias. So, the alias is subtotals. If the grouping ID return value equals to 1 then it returns department subtotal. If grouping ID return value equals to 2 then it returns job subtotal. If grouping ID return value equals to 3 then it returns grand total. So, let me run this query. Now, see this here. Now, it is showing so what is 7450 is it is a department subtotal 14,075 department subtotal 9,400 department subtotal and 6,000 is job subtotal and 32,025 is grand total. So, now this report will be like so clear and easy to understand. So, end users can easily understand this report ok. That. So, this is the what what is cube what is roll up what is the difference between cube and roll up and what is grouping id, what is the purpose of grouping id, what is the advantage of using grouping id function. And so, thank you watching this video.